Hello everyone, I'm Metro CVN and welcome to episode 36 of the Metro with Metagross. Now today I've got a battle to share with you all that I had on the battle spot today, uh, versus Aura. Uh, now Aura was packing a very beefy team of a Landorus, a Blastoise and a Nido King. So these are all very potent threats, high attack and high special attack. Uh, they've got good defences on the whole and they could definitely do a lot of damage to my team and wear me down quite easily. Now I was going with my Mega Aerodactyl team as per normal. Uh, if you don't know my team by now, uh, or if you're new to the channel, uh, I've got a Choice Spec Sylveon, which I do lead with. I've got a Mega Aerodactyl, so it's holding the Aerodactylite. And I've got a Galvantula with a Focus Sash in case of things like Fire Blast that would otherwise one hit KO. So yeah, this is a great battle to have, and let's watch the battle. So, Aura does lead with the Nido King. And I do go with my Sylgon, of course, which is a great start for me. Now, Earth Power comes out. I'm not really sure why they went with Earth Power, because uh, a Poison attack would have done much, much more. Uh, however, the Psy Shock is able to come out and connect, and that will be an easy one-hit KO. And now they go with their Land Aurus. Uh, and obviously Intimidate comes out which lowers attack by one stage but it doesn't really affect Sylveon because it's special attack. However I do switch out because it can't combat uh, Landorus quite very well with the choice specs uh, side shot. Now I do switch perfectly, Earthquake doesn't connect due to the flying type and I do Mega up on the next turn. So yeah, I now go Ice Fang, of course uh, Landorus is four times weak to ice, so that is another easy one hit KO. So, you know, final Pokemon, Blastoise. Now, Blastoise, very beefy Pokemon, uh, good for rapid spinning and things like that. I go with the Rock Side to try and force a flinch, whether no such luck. Uh, Hydro Pump comes out now, and obviously, due to Aerodactyl's rock typing, that is super effective and brings me down to 14 HP. A little bit of leftovers recovery there on the Blastoise but not really that much in the grand scheme of things. So yeah, I go for a Sky Drop now. The annoying thing about Sky Drop is if the Pokemon is over, I think it's about 400 pounds, doesn't work. So yeah, Sky Drop now connects, and that will do a good amount of damage, bringing it down to the danger zone. Obviously Hydro Pump comes out again, but luckily Aerodactyl avoids, and that is absolutely crucial. So a little bit more there. However, I just play it safe, go with another Sky Drop, takes it back up into the sky and sky drop connects now and that will be enough to take out the Blastoise and win the game so yeah this is actually a really interesting battle for me to have because uh, I don't normally use Psy Shock on my Sylveon that often you know I normally come up against threats that would require Hyper Voice, uh, because Fairy has very good coverage, however I am also, I've, I've used Shadow Ball a couple of times on Sylveon, uh, and I think one of those battles I did win, um, the other one unfortunately I did lose, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Aerodactyl, once again, the absolute powerhouse of my team, was able to take out two of the three, um, you know, not really too much of a problem. The um, the avoidance of the Hydro Pump was absolutely crucial because I think I would have possibly got a little bit too close for comfort even though Gavantula obviously has Thunder uh, it would have got maybe a little close for comfort um, but yeah, like, in general I'm very happy with this battle um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching if you have any recommendations of Pokemon or teams or weather conditions or anything in general really you know, Trick Room or anything if you want me to try out let me know. Uh, I'll be reading all the comments and I will be responding to them all as well. Furthermore, uh, I am thinking of building a new team very soon. Um, in normal 3v3 single style um, for battles like this. Uh, so if you can leave me a Mega Evolution or a Pokemon to base a team around in the comments, uh, I'll be having a look and the one that I like the look of the most I will be building a team out of. And you know, it I will use it for videos as well, it will be hopefully a very good team.
Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed watching guys, and I will see you again next time.